it's fall, so it's time to bake. I want cookies. There's a need inside of me. I'm gonna make ginger molasses cookies. They're so good. Perfect. Usually I make these around Christmas time, but in this house, October through December is one clump of time, better known as the best time of the year. So I might as well just treat it all equally and there's no time like the present. These cookies are so delicious. They make my grandmother want to fall into a diabetic coma just to have one more. So be careful. You've been warned. No one likes a Grammy killer. I'm gonna put all of the measurements down below in the description. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that that's done, let's bake. Going to start with the dry ingredients. So in a medium sized bowl, get yourself some all purpose flour, add some baking soda, salt, and our spices. In here, I have some cinnamon, freshly grated nutmeg, cardamom, and some allspice. Very delicious. Give this a good whisk around, distribute those spices evenly. Now for the wet ingredients, into another bowl, we're gonna put our vegetable oil and the molasses. Fun little trick, put your oil into the vessel before you put anything sticky, nothing sticks, you get it all. And brown sugar, almost forgot, need the egg. One egg. Get your whisk and do the hokey pokey, move it all around, incorporate that egg until you get one large, beautiful blob. Now we're gonna put the wet into the dry. Mix it all in. Want to incorporate all that flour. You don't want to see anything loose in there. And you're going to kind of get a stiffer dough, but it's still very soft, but you're able to, you know, roll it up and it forms a little ball. That's what we want. These are ready to go. Now for the extra special, delicious, beautiful part. These are rolled cookies. I have some white sugar here in a bowl. Got my little ice cream scoop. And roll away. Drop them in the sugar, coat them well. Here we go, see? Little ball. Place them on your baking sheet and you just keep on going. These are going to go into my preheated 350 degree oven. Check them very frequently. They take about eight to nine minutes. I always start checking at five just in case, but you want them to be just the slightest bit brown on the bottom there. They might look puffy right away, but as soon as you take them out, let them cool just for a few minutes, they're going to flatten a little more and they're gonna to start to crackle and look all kinds of pretty. So, see you in a few minutes. Here's the first batch. These were in the oven for eight minutes. See how this one's already starting to cool a little bit more and it's starting to crack a little bit more. Ooh, that's gonna be a good one. If I tried to move these now, they might just break apart. So we're just gonna wait a second. These are the last of them. It's funny, like each batch looks different. My first ones are quite light, not as crackly. The second batch was much darker, 
much more crackly. I mean, look at that. And the third batch came out even darker and the cracks are happening. So I don't understand the oven, but it's all good. They all look delicious. They smell unbelievable. I got like 23 cookies out of this, which breaks my heart that it couldn't have been 24, but these are much bigger than I usually cook them. And my scoop was about two tablespoons. So if you just did one tablespoon, you could get a lot of cookies out of this recipe. Now I want to eat some. Mm. This one looks good to me. Look at all the crackles and see how they flattened out just a little bit, but they're still super soft and they'll stay soft unless you leave them kind of out in the open. These will last probably a few days in like an airtight container if they last that long. Good luck. But they're, oh, they're so good and they're still kind of warm. So, and look, they're just like so soft still. Oh, look at the inside of that. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, these taste like fall. And I didn't even have to put my head into a pumpkin, like usual, like Joey Tribbiani style. You know, when he puts his head in the turkey. Never mind. Mm. That coating of sugar on the outside makes it really nice and crunchy on the outside but they are super super soft on the inside definitely make these and enjoy them